Hey, what's going on guys and girls, Prashio here. And today I'm super excited to be doing the unboxing of the iPhone 13. Now the version we have here is the product red, of course, um, my favorite of the entire lineup. And I'm hoping the phone color is actually reflective of what's shown on the box. Last year, I was quite disappointed with the iPhone 12 in product red. Now, while the side bezels were actually red on the iPhone 12, the actual back panel was a bit of a salmon color, which was honestly a huge letdown for me. Um, I don't know why they went that route. All the photos I'd seen online prior to actually purchasing the iPhone 12 showed a nice red color, uh, but in person it was actually more of a salmon. So yeah, that was a bit of a disappointment. So the way I see it, the 13 is going to be the most popular in Apple's lineup of phones. Below it, you've got the 13 mini and above it, you've got the 13 Pro and the Pro Max for the power users. All right, let's get into the unboxing. So right off the bat, you can actually see what you're getting true to size. You've got the iPhone text over here, the logo here in red. And on the back here, it says designed by Apple in California, assembled in China, and it includes the USB type C to lightning cable. All right, so I'm gonna peel this tab here and open it up just like that. Another one up here. And there you have it, the iPhone 13 in product red in all its glory. And boy, I gotta say, it's one good looking phone and the colors just, oh man, this is exactly what I wanted from the iPhone 12 and product red last year. And I'm super, super psyched that I finally got it on the 13 and product red this year. It looks amazing. And honestly, the color is quite reminiscent of the iPhone 8 plus in product red. That was really nice. And this is too. And you know what? Kudos to you, Apple, because you actually did the product red lineup some justice with the iPhone 13. It actually looks red and it actually looks real nice. Now let's peel off the cover for the screen. And there you go. This is the iPhone 13 in product red. And I gotta say, I'm really digging this color. Oh man. All right. I'll set this aside here and I can admire it later. Let's see what else is in the box. So you've got designed by Apple in California. You got this little folder here with a few things. Um, I'm guessing the SIM ejector tool is gonna be here. And some stickers, of course. Wouldn't be Apple if you didn't get any stickers. You've got the product red card here. SIM ejector tool. And you've got the uh, warranty and user guide, I'm guessing, which no one really reads. And the USB type C to lightning cable, which is nice. Um, obviously no charging brick. That's the world we live in. All right, I'm booting up the phone. And yeah, while that boots up, let's just go back to having a look at the back. And yeah, this is nice. This is real nice. I'm glad they actually went for a nice dark red color this time. I really, really disliked the salmon color last year, but yeah, this, this is what product red is about. Oh man, this is so sick. And it's finally booted up. And of course you've got the classic Apple setup page, which just says hello in a bunch of different languages. All right, I'll get this set up and get back to you. All right, so I've set up the iPhone 13 and right off the bat, I gotta say, uh, my first impression is that I really dig this new color. I know I'm obsessing a little bit over it, but yeah, I really, really like this color. And just for a reference, the previous version, iPhone 12, um, the back panel was more of a salmon color like this, which is pretty annoying because what I really wanted was this. So yeah, I really dig the color. And you know what, I gotta say, the actual decrease in size of the notch is quite noticeable. Um, although it's kind of weird because Apple actually hasn't added any more information up the top there, like a battery percentage, which I'm still waiting on. So yeah, I mean, you got a smaller notch, but they really haven't done anything useful with the extra real estate. So yeah, but other than that, yeah, the phone feels really nice in the hand. Of course, I really like that boxy design and yeah, this is pretty much it for the iPhone 13 and product red unboxing. I guess we're out of time. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.